Namaste. Welcome back to learn one more theoretical proof. In this five minutes, you will be learning one of the craziest, tough, and important questions and easiest way to solve it. Basically, we will be using two different relations within this eight steps proof. The first one is inscribed angles standing on the same arc are equal and the next one is corresponding angles are equal and possible only in parallel lines so without delay let's enter the main context you know it perfectly that figure is the must in the solution so we will draw a clear figure and then mention all the provided information we include the condition to prove along it since our today's question gets easy with construction we join a and d figure looks like this after construction all the steps will be organized in the following statement reason table first of all let's use the given information we can say that angle e a c is equal to angle b a e as a e is the bisector of angle b a c this is shown in the figure itself then two angles standing on the arc b e r angle b a e and angle b d e so they are also equal that is angle b d e is equal to angle b a e from the statements 1 and 2 we can now write angle e a c is equal to angle b d e carefully observing the figure angle m a n is same as angle e a c and angle m d n is same as angle b d e keep this in mind so statement 4 can be concluded as a m n d is a cyclic quadrilateral where angle m a n and angle m d n are same to be inscribed angle this is the conclusion made from statement 3 now if a m n d is proved as cyclic quadrilateral we can now say that angle d a n is equal to angle d m n both being inscribed angles formed by the arc d n in the cyclic quadrilateral a m n d also the arc d c forms two different angles on the circumference which are angle d a c and angle d b c so they can be written equal as angle d a c is equal to angle d b c since angle d a n is same as angle d a c and angle m b c is same as angle d b c we can also write angle d a n is equal to angle m b c in statement 6 now left hand sides of both statements 5 and 6 are equal so we can now write angles on the right hand sides are also equal that is angle m b c is equal to angle d m n finally the solution is concluded as m n is parallel to b c since from statement 7 corresponding angles are equal i hope i have clarified your concern see you in the upcoming video stay safe stay productive